my name is Leo, and welcome to the first 15 minutes of Cthulhu Saves the World. The legends speak of an ancient evil known only as Cthulhu. He's got sick tentacles. It is said to have come to this earth from beyond the heavens. It was an alien? Then it was a god. He's an elder god. For eons, Cthulhu ruled from atop the great city of Rao. <laughs> okay. I might as well start the, uh, start the timer now, I guess. Because we're getting some lore here. While the legends are silent as to the fall of the great Rao. <laughs> They all foretell the same prophecy. Cthulhu will rise again. Cthulhu saves the world. <laughs> oh. So this is this guy's kind of tongue in cheek, right? But, uh, wait, it's, this is an RPG? That feels like a portal clicker, like a platform game. Oh wow. Okay. Let's play it on normal easy. We'll play it on normal. Commentary. Well we'll go we'll go with all for now. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Rao <laughs> Cthulhu, a being so terrible. That its mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu! Oh, I guess he's sick. As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. I thought Cthulhu's a good guy. But wait! What's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from high atop yonder cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on a neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Okay, that was over pretty quickly. After waiting all this time to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I must get my powers back. But how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. <laughs> Foolish narrator. While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now I too know the way to regain my power. <laughs> Whoops. I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero, but only so that I can regain my powers, summon Ralph to the surface and destroy the world, of course. Well, that's not going to work, Cthulhu, because if, you, if you're a true hero, then you wouldn't be doing it for such selfish gain. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you some few pointers. Okay, Cthulhu needs no assistance. Wait. No greater. Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lonely player who dared control me, I will allow you to continue with your feeble tips. Hold the B button while moving to run really fast. <laughs> Foolish game developer. By giving me the ability to run, I'll finish this silly game in half the time. I'll be able to sell it back to the game store before the trading value drops. 
Or if it's on Steam, you can just give it back. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Press the Y button. To pick up your menu. From here you can chat with members in your page and the status. Start off fire. Change your quick name. Okay. I can save at any time? What is this? A first person shooter? Use abilities like insanity slash and combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies like <laughs> also like insanity effects like um eternal darkness. Uh, insane enemies take more damage from attacks, watch out, a few enemies will become more dangerous on the same. There will be no watching out, I shall bestow the gift of insanity upon a wall. Build up your combo camp with hits then and your powerful combo ability like death blow for massive damage. Are you done yet? If it's alright with you, I'd like to actually play this game sometime this year. Well, yeah, timer is ticking. Good luck. Cosmic monstrosities don't need luck. We forge our own destinies, no matter what the cost to humanity. Why would Cthulhu call himself a monstrosity? Okay. Got three one ups. Only got one person in my group. Cthulhu is level three. Let's go for one then. Whee! Running! I'm running! Oh, hello. Aha! A helpless maiden beset by vicious monsters. I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many more heroic uh, deeds before you're even remotely close to being considered a true hero. Should I be doing that in the uh, narrator voice? What is that word? Fucking! Then I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. A gooey appears. And one begins. Monsters at normal strength. Okay. Which is 110%. What that what that happen? Um Why did I get stronger? It's bullshit. All enemies are defeated. All allies, all allies have gained full HP and three MP. Who's now level three? Insane strength, insane mag, magic. Gives ins each insane enemy gives ten percent strength. Okay. Die, foul slime monsters! As Cthulhu defeated the final slime monsters, he turned his it shouldn't be monster, but whatever. He turned his gaze to the maiden that he had rescued. Gorgeous! Oh god, it's a freaking Japanese character. What? When Umi <laughs> gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, she saw this. Oh, is this going to be a weird artist recreation? 
Yep. Warning, image displayed may not reflect reality. My hero! Hero indeed, did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. Freaking! This way, I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, my warrior, who has saved me from a good death. Let me join you on your noble quest. Do you do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea and call them my friends. Pass. Oh, I have this trident which I use to send things. That's more like it. And above all, I, Yumi, promise you my wholehearted love and devotion. You great big hunk of handsomeness. Yes! The great Cthulhu requires groupies! You shall do! Yay! Does this mean we're dating now? No! We're, s we're in a strictly rockstar groupie relationship. For now! <laughs> Umi has joined your party. Now that you have a second party member, you can use check command. You can also use multi character, unite techniques, and battle. Gain more abilities and a lot more united abilities. Random encounters are now active in this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you would like to fight beyond that, press Y button to bring out the main menu and select the fight option. Save the game. <laughs> Pretty beautiful. Man, these voices are, uh, great. <laughs> Is that a live starfish in your hair? Yes, her name is Pinta. Isn't she cute? A live starfish in your hair? And people think I'm disgusting. Wah, wah, wow. The town of Mikastonia is just past the series caves. I'm sure there are. Some heroic deeds you can do there. To Mikasadonia. MP restored, safe game warning. Do not remove the hard disk. Or maybe unit will save it. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. So I can't just save where I want? Okay, I can just save where I want. Okay, whatever. Wait, what are her abilities? Oh, good point. Good question. Well, she's weaker. But I'm guessing she has some magic. How do I... I don't know. Whatever. Does he always say the same thing? Yeah. I'm stuck. Well, I can throw that. Get on with it. No random battle. Oh, well, there we go. The giant rat approaches, the crab approaches, the seahorse approaches. That's a giant rat, though, right? Call the Kraken! It's kind of a waste, but I wouldn't even want to see what it looks like. What's Flood do? It's a water attack. Oh, so the Kraken stays there. Okay. Uh, less likely to be attacked by enemies. Each side of the enemy gives extra... Okay, I'll do this one. So do I... So you heal after every battle? That's amazing. Wait, what's uh... Yeah, okay. 
We are just about up to 15 minutes, actually. This cave's kind of cool. And I really dig into with these voices. If you would like to see me do more of this and do more of these voices or just see more of the game and me not do the voices, then let me know in the comments and I will continue playing this game a bit more. Which I kind of actually want to do a little bit. Goblin, goblin. Giant rat, giant rat. What does that do? Adds insanity. Well, she can do insanity too. Huh. So they get, they get MP, a little bit of MP back, and they get full HP, that's amazing. It's so good. Are we playing it on easy? No, we're playing it normal. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. What's that? Um. I thought I'd turn that shit off. I thought I had to. Okay, well I'm gonna start the game now. And uh, like I said, if you would want more of this if you would like more of this game, let me know. But that has been the first 50 minutes of Cthulhu Saves the World. Uh pretty funny game. Um uh but next week we'll be playing a new game. Um uh, but for now, my name is Leo and I'll see you next time.